Welcome back to Living in Hamilton. This week, we're taking a look at the best waterfront community, Winona, located on the easternmost side of Stony Creek, right on Lake Ontario, giving you easy access to both Niagara Falls and the US border, but as well as Toronto, with lots of expansion happening in the last 15 years, with new shopping options, townhome options, and detached homes, all of which are just a short walk away from many different waterfront parks and scenic views of the Niagara Escarpment. So let's jump on in and discuss everything that makes Winona special. If you're new here and want to learn all about the different neighborhoods in Hamilton and the surrounding cities from the pros and cons, the shopping, the real estate and more, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Matthew, a part of the Living in Hamilton team and for the past three years we've been specializing in helping people relocate here to Hamilton and the surrounding cities. So if you're looking to make the move in the next 60 days or the next six months, send me and my team a message today. Other than that, make sure you keep on watching, as in this video, we're going to be exploring two different homes in this community. One is going to be a beautiful detached home with a backyard oasis, as well as a townhome in a perfect location right beside 50 Point Conservation Area, which brings me on to the very first thing that makes Winona so special, and that is its amazing parks. Like this one here at 50 Point Conservation Area, not only are you going to find the best beach in all of Hamilton, but as well as a marina to store your your boat, many different walking trails to go and explore with your dog in the summertime, as well as some campsites perfect for a staycation. Now other than this park, you'll also find a variety of neighborhood parks like Lake Vista Park that has a beautiful jungle gym with spectacular views of Lake Ontario. And then another park you'll spend a bunch of time when living in Winona is Winona Park. Now Winona Park, you're going to find a variety of different green spaces, sports fields, as well as a jungle gym and splash pad for your kids to enjoy. But perhaps most notably what you'll find in this park here is the Winona Peach Festival. Been going on for more than 50 years and it is an absolute local favorite as you're gonna find a variety of fun activities, rides, as well as a lot of great stalls to pick up the freshest produce. Now beside all of these great parks here, you're often going to find some amazing schools. Like this one behind me at St. Gabriel's Catholic Elementary School. Now in total, you'll find two different elementary schools in Winona one public and one Catholic. Now, unfortunately, there are no high schools currently, so your kids, if they are in the high school, will have to be bused to one of the surrounding Stony Creek high schools. So now that you guys know everything about the different schools in Winona, here we are at the main shopping center. Of course, behind me, you got that Costco to get all your basic amenities, and of course, that $1.50 hot dog, but also in this plaza, you'll find a Metro, a Dollarama, and a variety of other shopping centers, as well as countless restaurants to choose from. So let's jump on in now to the computer where I can show you exactly where this is located, as well as the other great things you need to know before moving here. All right, guys, so we were just located right here beside the QEW, and this is where you're gonna find the majority of shopping when you're living in Winona. And as you can see, no matter if you're living on the north side, the south side, it's only gonna be a short drive away. The only other two areas you will find a little bit of shopping in is there is a small plaza right here on the North Service Road that does have like the 50 point market as well as a few other convenience stores, but the most of your shopping will be done here. Then if you are looking for some fresh produce, there's a couple of options you're gonna find. Sometimes along Barton Street, you'll notice some like food stalls or like uh, fresh produce stalls where local farmers will come out, lay out their food and um, sell it on the side of the road. So you can find occasionally find it along Barton Street. The other area where you'll find a lot of great fresh produce is right in the Winona Farmer's Market that actually happens to be right beside as well, the Winona Community Center. Now this community center has a variety of drop-in gym times for you to play some pickleball, some volleyball, some basketball, etc. Now, other than those shopping options, a few other notable things you need to know about when living here is first, you have one of the closest wineries, Puttycomb Farms Winery and Ciders, if you're interested in going checking out your local winery. But as you move forward more into the Niagara region, you're going to see a lot more wineries also pop up on your radar. Now, other than the shopping options, like we discussed, you do have a lot of parks. So if we just flip here and I can show you where the parks are located and we'll flip the map over to this side here. One of the things that you're going to notice first and foremost is this massive green space here. This is 50 point conservation area. 
right? That's the biggest green space you're going to be finding in Winona. Now, with that said, you're going to find, as you can see, a few different parks throughout the north side of Winona. Now, as for the south side of Winona, uh, this area here does have the Winona Park that's home to the Winona Peach Festival, and then it is home to the two elementary schools you're going to be finding here. So, like we've already discussed, right here is where you're going to find the St. Gabriel's Catholic Elementary School on Barton Street, and then just a little bit down is where you're going to find the Winona uh, Public Elementary School there as well. So if you are interested in getting access to this map here that has everything labeled that you would ever want to know living in Winona, but also the other neighborhoods of Stony Creek, and I have a custom map for each one of the different Hamilton neighborhoods, as well as access to all my videos going over each one of the cities and neighborhoods, you can find a link down in the description to get access to my free Hamilton Home Buyers Starter Kit. But other than that, let's jump on in and discuss a little bit more about the real estate and what you can find within Winona. So overall, Winona is divided up by the QEW and you have the north side that is right here. And then you have the south side going on this edge right here. Now, if we look at the north side, the majority of real estate that is going to be happening here is going to be detached homes and townhomes that were really built from like 2005 to 2015 is typically what is found here. Then as for the south side of Winona, you're going to find two different different types of real estate. One, you're going to find some of those original homes, especially along Barton Street that offer huge size lots uh, because there was not much developed when those homes were originally built. But then as well, this is where you're going to find the newest townhome developments and some detached homes coming into Winona is along the south side here. So if you're interested in getting access to townhomes and detached homes, Winona is definitely a great place to choose as in total detached homes made up 75% of the sales, typically selling between 800 100,000 and 1.4 million, whereas townhomes made up 25% of the sales. And I imagine this number will only continue to rise as more construction happens, typically selling between 700 dollars and $900,000 for the last 12 months. Now, the downside of the Winona real estate is unfortunately right now, there are no condominiums available. So if you're looking for condos, of course, this community isn't going to apply for you. Now that you know the different overview real estate options, let's go check out that townhome. So this townhome here offers three beds and three and a half baths and it is priced at $800,000. Now, when you walk on in, you'll be greeted with your open concept living room and kitchen. Then upstairs, you'll find a spacious master bedroom with two other bedrooms for your kids. And then downstairs, you'll find a finished basement, perfect for a man cave or a home office. Alrighty, let's go check out that detached home. Now this detached home is listed for $1.5 million and offers three beds and four bathrooms. And as you walk in, you'll be greeted with your soaring ceilings, both in your front hallway, but also in your bright and spacious living room that is open and connected to your kitchen where you'll find your large island. And then upstairs, you're gonna find a spacious master bedroom with a walk-in closet, as well as a beautiful ensuite. And then two additional rooms, perfect for for any office or kids rooms. But perhaps my favorite part about this home is in the backyard where you're gonna not only find a pool, but as well as a pizza oven, a little bar to watch the game on a great summer day, as well as a built-in barbecue. And then of course you have a finished basement, perfect for any movie nights. So let's take a look now at the walk score. Winona was rated an 18 compared to that of Hamilton's average of 50. So overall, if you're looking to walk around and get your amenities, you're gonna have to be living close to that shopping plaza. Now with that said, Winona is still a great option if you're just looking to go for an afternoon walk with your dog or your kids. Then as for the public transit score, Winona was rated a zero. And that's simply because there's currently no public transit available to use really within Winona's borders. And then as for the bike score, Winona was rated a 34 compared to Hamilton's average of 50. So you are gonna have a lot of quiet streets and great sidewalks to bike on. But again, like the walkability, it's not gonna be the best mode of transportation when living here. So now let's go take a look at the best barbecue you're gonna be finding within this community. All right, guys, so here we are at the best barbecue in all of Hamilton via Memphis Fire Barbecue Company. Not only are you gonna find the best brisket, ribs, and pulled pork here, but perhaps some of the best mac and cheese and cornbread as well. So come on in and let's go take a look.
All right, since you stuck around to the end, I'll share the top three reasons why my clients choose not to move here. Number one is because there's no condo options. So of course, if you're looking for a condo, you're not gonna find that here. Number two is because there are no high schools. So if your kids are gonna be in high school and you wanna have them be able to walk to school, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to find that here. And the third reason is, is because it is a little bit further out from the downtown core of Hamilton. So now that you know the top three reasons why my clients choose not to move here, is Winona the right city for you or not? Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, the next video I'd recommend you go check a look at is the top fastest growing community within Hamilton. So you can find that video right here. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.